and space. Yeah, and we will be able to get ourselves right into it. So we'll see just how it is going to play out here from both sides. And Sarah and Yuma, you can see on the board, I mean, the Mars and the Pango are doing quite well. And no, sir, I'm not doing awful here. The Fatal Bonds comes out already here for MC. He's going to try and get the chase down onto Stinger. Stinger's taking a lot of damage. Glimpse comes out. Do they have the damage to get the kill here onto the Warlock? One more right click. It might be enough. And GH is going to get the first blood. But uh, Parker trying to get the chase down onto him now. And it looks like the Doom might just be able to get the walk away. Changes targets onto GH now as well. Trying to throw out this harass, but shouldn't be able to get a kill from this. Just a whole lot of harass on the two heroes in the lane. Meanwhile, yeah, Schofield will go down. You have so much single target damage with the uh with with that glimpse it's it's kind of tough yeah and that's the thing as well they might oh, be able to see something op evil is going to come out as well and mind control can he get himself away from this when the right clicks the glimpse it's going to be there once again mind control though trying to run himself out was slowed but i mean parker's not that healthy either the creeps are chasing him down mind control trying to juke around trying to break some ankles does he have enough damage to get the kill though mind control one more right click it might be will be enough and jim park's gonna be able to get the kill and now gh does he give himself out storm hammer once again coming through and it looks like they might have the rundown onto the disruptor now as well a couple more right clicks jim park very fire is going to be used you've got those fatal bonds going gh he's trying he's trying his best to run himself away from this one no more mana the storm hammer was on cooldown the nature of nyx relies so much like with with disruptor you're always going to have glimpse and that by itself is a lot of value but uh not the same here for nix if they do go in yuma nice rotation from the warlock yeah great upheaval now as well with the impel do we have enough damage to get the kill onto yuma underneath the tower though so they're gonna have to get the cleanup on mikey with that rotation down so he immediately gets a revenge onto sacred but stinger was able to take down the nix assassin first Kororo. yeah i mean that's pretty good the nix was a, a part of the naga kill as well as then picking up the wisdom room it's gonna buy him a lot of time good rotation here with dark mago yeah, coming in with nice that rolling step. thunder. Mind control tried to get himself away, but Parker will still be able to pick up the kill there. And mind control without his supports. In fact, there's going to be the rotation from Stinger as well. Can they go for even more onto this? Uh, upheaval comes through. The glimpse is out. No more catch up here on the Pangolin. But GH has slowed right down on the bottom lane though. Sacred taking a lot of damage as the Mars might be able to get himself away, but Mikey wants to kill. Dark Mago gets a kill onto GH on the top lane. Sacred can he get himself away from this one? Mikey, a one more right click from anyone. Yuma, he gets himself some revenge. All right, you know, that doesn't happen very often. Naga just getting so many kills in lane, but they have a pretty weak lane on the side of Biscos. It did get abused, rightfully so, and Kuroki might pay the price here as they do get a Doom. Oh. It does come through now as well. Yeah, Kuroki trying to do his best. The upheaval is going to be used once again, slowing Kuroki down. Kuroki might have wished he put a point there into the healing but it doesn't come through mind control gets the kill onto dark mago after the fact stinger trying to buy some time jim park comes through there's gonna be the storm hammer coming out now as well the glimpse is it gonna be enough to keep mind control alive well no the rotation comes in from schofield now as well and even the ancients getting involved there but stinger will get the kill and gh just has to turn and run i think the the real problem is the fact that yeah there you go you do damage with that channeling ability it's like you cannot blink out of it like you have to buy four staff as Mike. Did they get the kill onto Mikey here? There is going to be the arena coming down now, and Mikey's going to be taken care of. It is a rotation coming through from pretty much everybody on the side of Beast Coast. Yeah, yeah, I think it was just seen there. So Yuma just immediately does the 180 and moonwalks away. But Schofield stacked him oh. out, though. They might be able to get it with the rotation coming through from Schofield and Dark Mago. But that roll, Thunder. though. Are they going to be able to connect onto this one? They've got the slowdown onto the Naga Siren once again. Sacred comes through. There is going to be the arena coming out now as well. You've got that chaotic offering. You've got the kill onto GH. Can you take down Yuma? He will eventually fall and fight Mikey. He might go down here as well. Big rotations from Peace Coast trying to find these kills when the tier 1 tower has only just dropped in Koro. He's going to be speared down to the tier 2 tower. They get near enough everybody. He might just like headrest this. You don't know. You know, he's style options. Oh, oh, Jim Park. Oh, he actually breaks the smoke as he was ulting to farm here. Uh, Does he actually dive into this one? Hello? Yeah, he's going to be able to get himself over. Just deletes GH and now the arena comes out as well. Mikey, he's going to be in trouble once again. That spear coming through. It's going to pin Kuro to the arena. And they get themselves three heroes out of a, an NGX gank there. That was the smoke. And Beast goes, turn it around, turn it on the head. And yeah, pretty good time on the ultimate. And three heroes dead. To make it through, and if the Nyx has a good game, then it is a fine Nyx game because the Auto 4 is just the bane of many Intelligence Force existence. That Nyx, as uh, I don't even think Nyx is necessary for the Mikey kill. No, oh, Schofield takes a lot of damage again, but they are going to be able to get the kill onto Mikey and Kuro going for more. And they take down DH now as well. They've got this push on. They, they really are. The, when you look at uh, Mikey's items, oh, they find the Naga. 
<laughs> oh way. Straight up sushi being made here. Jim Park, he is just getting on top of it. Sacred, great arena in. And yeah, Yuma's saying, no, guys, maybe they have a ward though. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't like to eat sushi. They came from Sven. That's more like Tartar. He's just mashing all that fish. Still pretty delicious as they find the uh, MC Doom as well. Yeah, and he actually, yeah, Hannah Midas, is he gonna be, no, no TP in time there. Jim Park just says, sit down. And the Naga Sarans as well. Do you think the the current patch has shifted the the level of play? Like the, the time that you've got to actually get online and you're shifted it down. So you can't really get the full advantage of like the Naga Sarans and these like long farming dooms. I think it's more about the combination of heroes they place together. I think that dude is fine in yeah. the right game. But in this game where you have a Naga and you lost pretty much every single lane, things go... You, know, you have to adapt a little bit. A sacred really big jump. Oh, yeah, they blow up mind control, and he's not going to be able to get his ultimate off. He's dead for the next 50 seconds here, and this might just be a complete base break coming through from side of Peace Coast. They've taken down all three tier two towers, it, unless I'm seeing things on the map, which I'm not, um, but it does happen. But yeah, they're going to be able to go on. It looks like they want to go for a second Rax here as well. Yeah, they are looking like they don't want to stop here, and NGX just did not have that momentum to, to push them back, so we'll see just how well they're going to try and defend the space. It might just be two lanes of Rax to give up hell. It might be all three. If you get the kill onto Yuma here, Yuma has to move himself away. Song comes up in two seconds. Do they want to try and use it? But even if they do use it, what can they get after the fact? Song comes out. What are they setting up for here, though? I think they're buying time for the Doom, but it's just not enough. They have no damage. Yep, Kuro, he's going to be forced back by the spear. Deleted. And that is a lane and a half of racks here for Beast Coast. They don't even need to stop here. They're going to be able to go for a full lane, a full second lane. They might just even go for Magus. And there's no way for... I don't think NGX have the momentum or have that damage to be able to push Beast Coast out of their own base. Yeah, I, I don't think they're going to get a good Doom. But okay. it could just be KD. Yeah, let's see what's going to happen here. you got Mind Control trying to chase down, but the reflection from the Lotus, actually, it's going to be a Doom onto MC. So the chase down, do they have enough damage to get the kill onto Yuma? I think if Yuma goes down here, we might just be looking at the end of game number one. Yuma going to be bounced around by this Rolling Thunder. They do get the kill. No buyback for the Naga Siren. Mikey in the trees. It looks like he just has to TP himself back to the fountain. It will be Megas. It is going to be game number one going the way of Beast Coast. All right, so they start with a bang. A uh, couple of unorthodox heroes, I think, the Mars and the Nyx. Greenstroke's probably one of the best pairings as well, because you just inkswell, quickly blink on top, you have the silence to stop any stuns or uh, things to deter you. Th this is a really strong lane. I think they, they have to be careful here for Enigma, because they picked a relatively strong core on the Razor. I don't think the Shaker really like compensates for that. It's, it's a pretty weak laner, but oh, look at that Ooh, block gosh. as I badmouth GH. He quickly shuts me down. <laughs> Just insane Fissure block there. It starts to get hard for the Tiny, especially starting now, but the early levels, you know. Uh, oh. oh, what? Is, is this a PA this. yank at four minutes? What the? Uh, Jim yeah, Park. Parker. Seeing how low, he just needs a dagger, he just needs to jump anything about it to get the kill. Oh! The tree's gonna come through, thrown down the go, gets the kill, but not enough to get the kill into mind control, not quick yeah. enough there. Cool with a rotation here though, he's gonna get a good fatal bonds with the blood grenade, upheaval not used. Oh, wait, what? Did he go for this one? Kuroki's uh, gonna be in trouble. Yeah, where's that ink spot to come out now as well? It looks like Jim Park might be able to get the kill onto Kuroki. One more right click. They save the kill, and the PA will be cleaning up here. Even the Rubik rotation, really hard for you to, you know, kind of detached from it. No rotation from Dark Mago here. Finds the level 6 Bloodseeker. This could be dangerous, but it's Yeah, they're going to be able to go for the Trample Upheaval now as well. Sacred's going to go for the TPO. Anything to stop this. Efficient comes through and Sacred, well, he does have his ultimate if he wants to throw it out. GH going to be caught in this now as well. Do they have the damage to get the kill? It looks like they might be able to take down Kuroki, but it will be Sacred falling in the end to Mikey. So Mikey getting something back in this game. Can they chase for a little bit more? Stinger in the Roach Pit. Do they want to go into GH? So GH, he might have just given up on this one because Jim Park rotates in. Oh, GH, even on the other side of the map, Jim Park is still hunting you. Dark Mago is going to be the one to get the kill, but it's just an easy rotation back to the bottom lane with these Twin Gates. So let's see what they're going to do with this. Three-man smoke rotation. Yeah, like you say, that blink is up. Oh, did they see them? The smoke's going to break. They do, oh. they do. They find GH. He's going to be caught out now as well. The silence to toss up into the earth. He's going to be able to get the kill. The stolen illuminate damage coming through there as well. Darmago picks up one. But upheaval. Can no they stop cancel. this with the TP out? Absolutely not. It's only Shaker. It's, it's going to take way too long. 
they need a way to start up fights. Right now, if you just rupture someone, they're just gonna TP out unless uh, G8 is very close and the smoke breaks there. They know this coast is here. Oh, that'd be fine. Cool. Behind the tier twos. Oh, God. The Echo Slam is gonna be used here, but oh, do they have nice. enough damage to get the kill? They're gonna be able to get the one onto Rubik. Can they go for any more though? Soulbind will be used. It looks like Sacred trying to go for the right clicks, and now they will. He's gonna be trapped behind enemy lines, and they do get three kills. So that gank squad, they take down the Warlock, but maybe not worth the price of admission there as they do lose three heroes. Yeah, they, they have heroes that can make plays, so they are all forced to farm. It, it's always you know, terrible when that looks like it. And Dark Mag with the blink finds the Bloodseeker. Is he going to be able to do the damage? He's going to be the Storm Bloodright coming out now as well. Tell Kinesis to finish off the job. Soulbind comes through here, and Mikey's going to be linked out to the Earthshaker. Can he get the kill onto Dark Mago though? Dark Mago is going to be caught behind the Fisher. Back lines, Echo Slam, Sacred. Do they have the damage? As he looks like they do take down Dark Mago. Stinger on the TP. They do get the kill though. That Golem doing the damage in Schofield. He's the one now trying to get that TP out. He will get out alive. <laughs> Okay, he actually didn't have a TP and he, had, he still survived. Oh, nice rotation here. PA comes in. And now, is he going to be able to get the kill onto MC as well? MC, he tries to break the leash, will be able to break the leash with the jump away. Avalanche into the toss, they have the damage. MC pops his BKB though. Is the physical he damage going to be enough? Sacred, did he have anything to disrupt this? He don't, so Sacred gets his ultimate off. Alright, alright. Yeah, so we see, I mean... He isn't going to be if the fight breaks out, though. They find him, straight up blow him up, Inkswell into the right clicks of Jim Park. And yeah, that means that he's not going to be there. He might even find out MC. MC has to pop that BKB again. But Sacred going to try and close that gap. Can they do the damage here? Jim Park doesn't want to get the jump in. They just have to clean up the creeps, the Solar Bind, as well as the Spirit Vessel coming out. And the PA says, you know what, lads? We'll let you walk away from this one. Behind in net worth, because you're just farming less. You're getting less experience from the map. But uh, it is what they, they have to do, at least until the Aegis is over or or not. Did he get any big times I'm not aware of here? Okay, they're just gonna jump into Dark Mago, but he's Invis, what? Yeah, he's got the Invis rune, so the smoke breaks here, and he's gonna be just scouting this out on the smoke. Oh Do they want to go? God, Fisher no actually connects, but the Inkswell, it might still connect onto MC and Mind Control. He has to pop that BKB now as well. Stinger oh with the TP away. My. Backlines, he get that Echo Slam off, but it's just gonna be for Schofield here now as well. Big jump in, Primal Beast pops a BKB of his own. Bloodright comes through, so they might be able to get something out of this, and even if it's just the kill on the BKB, you know, we will force the BKB out from Dark Mago as well. All right, you, okay, can, nice. you can just cue the clown song here. Yeah, and now, I mean, Aegis is over, but it's a 10k goal lead. I, I still feel like Nygma, they have to fight. Uh, what? what? They're just going straight into the base now. The BKB comes out from Parker. There's going to be the Soulbind now as well. He's just, he's saying this base is ours and you have to force us out. Look at this one. You've even got the leash taking away the damage. You do finally get the kill. Uh, so, that's yeah. probably the biggest blunder, the only blunder, uh, Jim Park would be the whole game. Uh, you know, <laughs> if you're diving fountain, you want to make sure you have a duration for it. Oh my god. They take down Numa. Golem's gonna be dropped though. Can they get anything from Dark Mago? Dark Mago is gonna pop the BKB, trying to walk himself away. The TP. Do they have enough damage to take him down? Well, not with that BKB going. They don't. So they change targets over to Stinger. Stole the like Schofield. He stole the Golem. Yeah, and this is gonna be the slowdown onto Mind Control. Mind Control trying to go for the chase, and Schofield wasting as much time as possible will go down in the end, but not before wasting the the Razor's time. It's quite dangerous. That was a really good pickup by MC, by the way. You don't see. You know, Razor Blade Mail too often because PA is always nice as they will get Sacred here, the Shard and the Shaker. Yeah, and Sacred's not got that charge for another five seconds. He's not going to be able to get himself away from Mind Control. Mind Control just sticking to him like, um, I was going to say glue on butter, but that's not the, the phrase. And now the TP's come in. Dark Mago is going to be able to get the Avatars coming through. Did he get the kill into GH? GH now for the Fisher. He's got that BK yep. going and Dark Mago, he's already TP'd himself in. So the damage coming through, they're going to be able to take down the Tiny. Beast Coast trying to make sure that the, the train hasn't sailed here for the, the second win, you know, to get the first actual win on the board and not a draw. But it looks like Nygma Galaxy, they're, they're starting to take some momentum back. You've got the Bloodseeker going towards his own butterfly, a basher in there as well. And he's saying, yeah, ooh, the jump in. Dark Mago, did they want to try and go for this one? Yuma's going to be lifted up in the air with the telekinesis, but no, Dark Mago Fisher comes out here as well. Backline, you've got Jim Park jumping oh, in, Sacred gets Shaker. himself in. Can they get the kill? There's going to be the drop of the, the Chaos Offering here as well. The Golem comes through, but Yuma's going to get really down low. Did he pop this Aegis once? He's still going to survive. And now they get the kill onto the Primal Beast. Turn around, Jim Park has to get himself right back in. Fan of Knife comes out here. Do they have the dive and she get the kill onto the Razor? The Razor might so go down here. They do pop the Aegis as well, but Razor, he's still going. 
And now Yuma with the chase down. You've got Jim Park that's slow. He's got a couple of heroes he's going to be able to chase down that are low now. It's also Yuma. He's going to have oh a great Lord. time just chasing these heroes down. But a fan of knives comes through once again. Jim Park, Yuma. He's going to be able to get the kill. Can they go for any more here? You've got Stinger TP away. Do they have the damage? A couple more right clicks. He won't be able to pick it up. And Stinger gets that TP away back to base. But now look at the smoke. We have no vision. We're going to find the bleak away. Rubik quick fingers there to get away from the uh, the Razor. Schofield, though, he's separated from the rest of his team, too. They know oh, they find you, Mike. Uh, Mikey. Mikey. Can they get the damage to get the kill off now as well? Schofield's going to be able to take Mikey down, and now there's Yule oh. set to come in through. And look at this, Jim Park. He wants to get in, he wants to clean up. The right click damage coming through onto the Razor. They've even got the control with the Pulverize. They're going to be able to get three. Can they make it four? Can they take that mind control? Even with that 4.2k health, they get the kill. And the Earthshaker's on the run now. The rest of the team looking to maybe catch him up, but do they find him? No. He just gets the TP away, but still, four heroes dead on. Uh, Nigma Galaxy with no buybacks and all five heroes on the side of Beast Coast. This could be what? It could be two lanes of racks. You've still got that tower in the mid lane, the tier two tower, but both side lanes, they are open for business here. For Nigma, this should be at least one lane. Looks like they will play safe. They learned <laughs> with uh, <laughs> a, a couple of the blunders that they did this game. He's got some control. Sacred's actually oh. going to be able to get the blink off. Yeah, the pulverize comes through. They're going to be able to do some damage. If you want to get the jump, what's that reveal? <laughs> it just, just straight up disappears. Earthshaker, you blink and you're missing the, but the fight breaking out now as well. Sacred, what can he do? Don't it looks fire. like he's going to be able to try and do what he can with that uproar break coming out. Back lines. Jim Park, he just takes down Mikey. He wants to go for more, but they don't have the reveal onto Kuroki. So Kuroki with the Glimmer Cape will be able to get out at least with his life. And maybe not now, but the Fisher, they get the Stone Lock onto Dark My God. There's going to be the Tree Toss coming out. It's the Illusion Toss in now as well. And the Illusion, it finishes the job onto Kuroki, and Kuroki's dead. They pop the BKB onto Yuma. Only Mind Control and Yuma left alive here. And Beast Coast look like they're going to have the run of the base. Your diving fountain here. Roshan's up this entire time, and it's a South American team. <laughs> Who cares about Roshan? We want the rampage. We want the kills in Yuma. Oh, my. I mean, this game is. <laughs> they're ending news in style. I'll say that. Yeah, and you can see that. I mean, they're not bothered about the rest of the racks. They just want to be going for the kills. They take down the Bloodseeker. He's dead for the next 70 seconds, and now, now that they know he isn't going to be a problem, they can go back and they can take the base. And I really don't know if anyone on the side of NGX is going to be up in time to stop Megas. Here, Force. They were diving <laughs> fountain, so I don't think Nigma X is going to phase them. I mean, definitely wants it. But look at that. That's a primal with a ninja gear. He is he getting get some intel. The wrap on the wrap on the wrap here, and they're gonna be able to get a good jump on. Do they get the kill onto Mind Control? Mind Control's oh, trying to get himself bind. away from this one. Soulbind, he could just keep him locked down here. Jim Park is cleaning up left, right, and center. Yuma trying to get himself away. He's got that BKB oh, going, but he's not gonna my. be able to hide himself in the trees. This is gonna be a complete sweep, it looks like here for Beast Coast. Yep, it was not clean, as uh, most South American games aren't, but very entertaining. <laughs> and uh, love to see. Oh, nice echo, buddy. Good Big enough. tanky boy though, the Primal Beast, 5.2k health there with the Ag Scepter as well as the Heart and they're just not going to be able to take him down. GG is going to be called. Yeah, I think that uh, this time Nigma played much better. They had uh, an overall better draft. The biggest problem was the, the lack of stuns. 